Hi, um, I'm Prasad Mukha from Siemens. Um, I'm the one who developed this uh, uh, smart energy box uh, 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 architect as well as developer. Uh, I was one of them. Um, I'm going to give the overview and also technical details uh, and, uh, uh, and also how it works um, as well. Um, smart energy box is a smart device for commercial building automation to deal with the energy aspect, to, to deal with the advanced energy aspects of the building. So advanced energy aspects are, are um, uh, demand response, automated demand response, energy efficiency, um, and also like you know, it can extensible uh, to the building plug load controls. So in the, during the um, uh, demand response um, uh, the, um, uh, technology, um, the smart energy box here, which is like you know, it has a, all this uh, component logic. It, it was architected um, as a runtime component architecture. So that means uh, we can plug in, plug in more runtime components, more logic into the uh, box, and um, it can um, interact with other components here and uh, share the services among them. For example, like you know, so here uh, we have a we have open area client which brings the DRAS signal, uh, demand response event information into the box. Um, it is talking to the utility provider DRAS here, and then uh, we have a. Uh, we also uh, bring in the uh, uh, real-time weather uh, forecast uh, from the uh, from the NOAA uh, uh, from the NOAA weather service. Um, the strategy selection, like you know, we configure building energy strategies uh, into the uh, into the box, and it's going to evaluate all of them, and it makes it available uh, for the execution. So all, this is all happening here, and also it communicates uh, with the building management system um, to adapt the energy um, strategies. So. The building management systems are like, you know, so they are the one who, con who uh, controls uh, central HVAC as well as lighting system. And the box is also um, extended to, to the distributed load control in the sense like an office plug load, which is not centrally controlled. Uh, it could be extended. It still can part of the uh, demand response or, or energy efficiency uh, implementations. Um, so it's a, um, the, it, it has a wide variety of, I mean, uh, can, it can be extended to communication protocols, different protocols. Right now we have a, a BACnet and also SOAP protocol that is available inside the box. Uh, we have our uh, Siemens building management system supports uh, SOAP protocol. So we also have implemented that as part of the box. Um, it has a central repository, as I explained earlier. So all the components, uh, components that we uh, plugged in can access uh, central data repository and also it can share the data. That means if you have a open, uh, if you have a DRAS event in the repository, and the components that are interested in knowing about the DRAS event, they can access uh, that data. Um, this is, um, uh, the data is also exposed uh, as, a, as a web service, so we can, can um, work as a loosely coupled way where the front end can visualize the data or the components even could be, um, the components could um, so we can develop a variety of components where the component sits directly in the smart energy box or it can sit as a smart energy box. It can have uh, invoked other uh, um, component such as like you know, we, we are using energy simulation by energy plus. So we have a component which is sitting in the smart energy box. It uses the energy plus. And also a component can interact with, um, with a business logic which is even outside the world, anywhere in the world. So it can invoke the services and, uh, and it can bring the uh, uh, services into the smart energy box. Um, the components are plug and play. They could be configured. Um, they can be, um, so if, if uh, certain buildings, if we do not require all the components, it could be excluded and also it can be added. So these are the components that are available uh, right now in the smart energy box. We have open ADR client, which brings in the DR signal and we have weather adapter energy simulation, the data service, which is the way of exposing the data, uh, BACnet adapter, which communicates uh, with the building management system using BACnet protocol or IP. And um, uh, there is a runtime manager, runtime component, which is the key person in the smart energy box, which plans the uh, load shedding, overall load shedding, um, with the central uh, equipment, as well as, uh, as, well as distribu distributed um, uh, control. So the, the strategy selector, which selects the best strategy by using the energy simulation. And uh, we have a strategy executor. So if we uh, uh, put the request to execute the strategy, it's the one who is going to look and then it's going to apply, cancel, user can cancel it if user uh, don't want to execute the strategy, suspend it. So all that kind of um, things uh, are provided. Um, this is um, how it works, smart, smart energy box, how it works. Um, 
Um, in BI tools, like you know, here, whenever uh, this this is whenever the event is notified, uh, let us say a day ahead for a day ahead. Um, smart energy box, uh, the manager sits here inside the smart energy box. It's going to evaluate um, the profiles, available profiles, uh, by using like you know strategy selector, and uh, brings in the right strategy um, so for the tomorrow. Uh, during the start of the day, um, it started applying, uh, starts applying the strategy on the building. So the strategy is nothing but uh, a set of set points. Uh, in this building, we control almost uh, 450 control set points, like in you know, the thermostats and also VAV flow, supply of temperature, and also heat or cooling mode uh, set points, as well as we are also controlling central lighting set points around roughly 80 points. So these are all like, you know, that's a part of the strategy. So when event is started, so by this time, the HVAC strategy, so it must have done some pre-cooling, and then uh, um, so building, uh, it, uh, the system brought building into the comfortable mode, even if you raise the temperature set points. So during this, when, when event is really started, like you know, two to six, let us say, at the time the manager here um, looks the real time meter reading, how much is energy is still, um, still need to shed. So there was a goal that we can uh, define, like in you know, the 30% of the base load or the 20% of the base load. Then it brings in according to that, like you know, if there is any goal still to achieve, then um, during this event, it starts communicating with uh, instant, load, um, uh, uh, instant load components such as central lighting, light can turn off and you can immediately see the load shedding. And also we have a uh, distributed load control where we contract, we can contract the load shedding throughout the building. Uh, the agents can control laptops, um, um, light, I mean lighting or uh, any equipment which is not centrally controlled. So this is, happens, this happens like and there is a, we, a, we, input, we uh, um, adapted the adaptive approach where um, it starts communicating every 15 minutes and then it uh, tries to achieve as much as possible so to the, to the target. Um, so this is like, you know, if you have an instant DR event, we can start um, uh, shedding like, you know, as, uh, as early as 15 minutes. Um, so it does an instant load. In, during instant event, if you have 15 minutes, it's not going to evaluate um, energy strategies uh, because it doesn't have re enough time to do the HVAC, uh, HVAC uh, load, I mean, HVAC analysis. In case, of, uh, uh, in case of day ahead DR event, it can evaluate all the strategies and then it can select the best strategy. Um, so, um, so it can be uh, configured to evaluate either based on the peak energy, peak load, or peak price, the different options. So the smart energy box can take the decision according to uh, the settings. So the central lighting, how it works with the central lighting, and uh, the manager, smart energy box, the manager inside um, has like an OV, there, there is an um, a agent-based uh, negotiation that is, uh, we have adapted for this uh, uh, smart energy box, which is an adaptive approach, what I explained a little earlier. So there are, there are uh, agents that are uh, defined for each level of the uh, lighting uh, in, this, um, in this building. Um, there are like, you know, five, uh, there are six agents here, and each level has defined multiple strategies in the sense um, to, it has a, like, let us say, total a power of 50 kilowatts. The strategies are like you know 20 kilowatts, 30 kilowatts, and uh, 35 kilowatts. Let us say so that's the maximum that we can shed. We can we cannot turn off all lights. So according to the requirement, uh, manage, the, the agent here can promise like you know I can shut off like you know 35 kilowatts. So so they're all like you know during the de demand response event they start communicating each other and uh, tries to achieve the goal. So uh, how the strategy evaluation works, um, so we are using Energy Plus as I explained earlier. So this is a real building model. This is an Energy Plus model, so which was developed by LBNL for this project. Um, so the, the, in the real building, we have uh, many, point, may, the, many control points in the, in the model. They might have clubbed into one, one of them. So we have, like, you know, for example, here thermostat sitting all over here, but here maybe one zone which is uh, dealing in the energy, energy Plus. So what we do is like, you know, we take all these thermostat set points um, which are configured as part of the strategy and then um, take the average or some depending on the type of the point that we, we are dealing. For example, if it is a temperature set point, so we take the average of all these points and then configure here for the evaluation. If it is a VAV airflow, then we, go, we are going to take some of all these VAV airflows and then we adapt uh, for the corresponding uh, energy plus model here and then evaluate. So 
this is our, this is how like you know, we uh, brings in the sim, I mean evaluation uh, strategy evaluation. Um, the strategy execution and uh, the, the strategy executor it keeps on looking for the current time and then it starts executing um, onto the onto the building. So the way we model uh, the start, the building uh, the information. So un irrespective of underlying protocol, we can define the model and the model is mapped to the building. Um, I mean control. Uh, control points according to the protocol. For example, if we, if we have a backnet, then we have a thermostat, let us say thermostat um, room 64 here, so which is mapped to backnet point uh, with some information. So at any point of time, if you wanted to uh, adapt the different building protocol, so we do not require to change any of these components inside the box. All we need to do is we just have to map to a new, new data point, new model. For example, if you have a soap point, we just map uh, thermostat 64 to the soap point, so and then uh, write the soap adapter in the smart energy box. It's going to work uh, automatically. Um, this is a UI provided user. Uh, I mean, the facility manager can access, can, can monitor the smart energy box, um, so they can actually um, approve, cancel uh, the uh, decisions that were taken by smart energy box for any reason. Um, so uh, can configure the strategies uh, inside for the smart energy box and also. Um, all building control points can be configured, so it works as a configuration as well as um, uh, as well as monitoring um, UI. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Prasad.